guys welcome to my lazy panda tech blog in this blog i am going to discuss about how you can establish audio video call and screen share option using webrtc in angular 11 framework webrtc is mainly stands for web meaning the https protocol or the browser and rtc is real time communication using webrtc you can connect one PR to another PR. It's a P2P communication and works over the HTTPS protocol and HTTP WebRTC apps actually need a service which which can exchange network and media metadata. Uh, this process, the complete process is actually known as signaling and using that signaling video audio data can be streamed directly between two clients there is um, as there is no middle layer is involved the all the data will be directly sent from one client to another client and because of that it is really high performance high quality and um, the um, you cannot uh, the data your data cannot be stolen so WebRTC works like that way browser 1 browser 2 if you are using a local dev development then local host will work but if you are put together into a web channel then HTTP will not work you have had to have the HTTPS so over HTTPS so browser 1 can connect with browser 2 once that connection is established then uh, data audio video or stream any kind of stream data can be shared from one browser to another browser um, and like that way webrtc works webrtc is really a huge library and it is evolving there are so much complications is there but here i am going i am trying to make it very simple um, just to connect with one browser to another browser share the audio video and then share the screen so uh, where it is actually can be used in, in many places like free file share screen share streaming audio streaming video multiplayer game everywhere this can be used and most of the uh, application softwares are using webrtc nowadays rapidly okay uh, so i am here to use PRJS which is providing that WebRTC peer to peer data video audio calls so I am going to leverage PRJS here uh, to do my, my sample POC work so let's see how it works let me have the you know, VS code here so I am already having the uh, component being ready and also installed PRJS here it is so I already uh, installed npm install PRJS and uh, then uh, importing PRJS let's see is compiled uh, of the browser so this is the sample one here in this box I am going to have the video and uh, screen share view as well so PR ID which is really important to connect one browser to another browser for that only I am using PRJS let's enable one by one so importing prjs add a instance variable private variable pr instantiate it and then adding the pr dot on that open function so that pr i can get the pr id let me save it and go back to the browser 
so here this sort of peer id will be placed this peer id needs to be shared one browser to another browser to establishing the communication so next one uh, i already have that input field here i am going to put the uh, value there let me So these are two different. So I am going to put this value here and then call peer. So call peer method needs to be enabled now. Let me open the HTML. Call peer is connect with peer. So I'll go there, connect with peer, enable this method. Call peer method is there. Let me enable it. So what it is doing it is doing navigator.media device which is in enabling video audio and then I am holding the stream in one local variable and then just listen on the stream action if stream action is there then I am just sending it to the um, to the one current PR method which is PR connection method uh, connection variable there I am storing it and that value that remote stream um, value I am pushing it to the video tag HTML tag video HTML tag let me save it and go back to the browser so like that way and if I am saving it and calling it so it established the it open up the um, camera but nothing is came out uh, let me see there So on top of it, I actually need to call, enable the call method when the incoming call is coming. So we need to enable that one and go back. Let's see how it works. As I am enabling the microphone and video both, so I am just muting myself and show the demo how it works. So now let me enabling the uh, skin share option now so for that I already have the method for skin share that also I am uncommenting and the complete code line for Share. so it will it will use the gate display media gate display media is actually taking care of the video and audio method how how um, it should work like uh, you know, whether it is any echoing or noise suppression all of those properties you can put it across this gate display media will work on browser that will not work on mobile uh, so a screen share only option will be enabled for desktop only that will not work on mobile so screen share option will enable the um, it will prompt you like which section of the uh, screen you wanted to share and once it is being shared it will uh, it will have the uh, data to be uh, remotely send it back to the uh, request sender and uh, then once user stop the share then it will return back to the older video 
So let's see the demo once again. And let me mute as well. So as you saw, like uh, the skin share is properly working, and uh, even if once you stop the skin share, it will return to the video as well. So uh, you can have the uh, all of those things. You can build it by yourself, and uh, you can understand how it works. So let me go back to my the my blog again. So all of those method how it is being there how it is being handled is being maintained and detailed description is given there please both feel free to go through of it and if you like the video if you like the idea please like comment and subscribe my channel thank you